Yo, what's poppin' you guys? Sizzle here. Today we're playing some more fighting. Last time we tried our first melee character, I think, in the skateboarder, and that, that did not go too hot, let me tell you what. We'll see what happens this time. Uh, yeah. Could go back to the classic Rocket. I mean, Rocket felt amazing to use. Let's maybe try one of the support characters. Yeah, like classic, like, druid type character. Boombox sense. Seems like they'd be fun. Uh, let's see. Base boost, beat drop. Interesting. Let me try this hat a little bit. Let's walk around. So, what, my left click. Oh, you're supposed to. There's like a rhythm game. Okay. That's dope. So, you have like a rhythm game going on on screen as you're hitting people. Now if you press E, well, you have like a little barrier thing. Key press just makes me jump up. My right click is like a guaranteed little shockwave thing. Like that doesn't do anything. Okay, I slam back down. Interesting. And then what was my E again? I, I don't really fully get this. There, I guess I could read it by going here again. Let's go for two seconds. Just read this out. Okay. Oh, it gives you and your allies short bursts of speed. So this is like kind of like Lucio, but you have to actually play rhythm game. Interesting. Uh, and then and it grants you a charge. Interesting. Fire wave forward. Uh, perfect good time hitting the wave and hang enemy. Grants you charge. Secondary, fire a sound wave that shields allies and grants haste, depending on your charge. Okay, and then the other one, jump up, pull enemies in, and then reactivate to slam down and push them away. Okay, so you have to press it twice. And yeah, the other thing is is a force field. It follows you for 15 seconds, that's pretty interesting. And my ult is jump high up, slam the ground with an explosion. Okay, I mean, it's a pretty interesting support character. It's literally, it's like a very cool version of Lucia, where instead of focusing on their movement, you're focused on playing a rhythm game. Which is, that's, that's pretty interesting design, I will say. Let's see how it goes. We did have a lot of, like, seeming, like, Spanish speakers or whatever in our main lobby, so maybe we'll have more of that. Someone's already on him? There's gonna be my whole gig for this thing. You know, we could try another one of the range ones. We could try Hyper Laser. They seem like they'd be fun. I guess I'll do Boombox next episode. Let's see what we're doing up here. Uh, am I on blue? Yes, I am. This is just sniper character. Alright. I think we actually, I looked at Rug on one of the other episodes, so I have like a vague idea as to what my abilities are. Okay. Just keep playing my range. Pretty hard to miss with this guy. Got big hitboxes. Assuming that all the damage was coming from me, which maybe it wasn't. I have no clue what my E press does though. Absolutely zero idea. Let's just kill this guy. But yeah, 40 on the headshot is a lot. Is he coming up to me? What the hell? What was that? Whatever. I think, yeah, we just sit up in the sniper tower and snipe away. That's probably their player. Oh, what are you doing up here? Get away from me. Uh, I do my E press here. Holy fuck. What even happened? We are in the US, so it's not even like lag. I mean, he wrote this lag. But I, I just don't know what that guy just did to me. He's got a German name on the US servers and he's talking about lag. So I, I have no idea. He just kind of appeared and disappeared at will. Okay, so that was like a little explosion. I know that's like a little grenade thing I just pressed with my Q or whatever. I think the general idea of my railgun is I'm supposed to snipe people. Pretty sure. I need you to die, my good friend. Oh, 
no, they're all one. Nice. We got two of them. Alright, let's start regening up here. I suppose. Oh, that's hitting the railing. Interesting. He says take cover. Like, yeah, obviously. Need to regen somehow. Oh, I'm fucking this guy up. I think he's another real gun enjoyer. Let's see if that nade can hit him. I'm literally just sitting up here sniping though. I guess I do have my ult, which I think is a... Oh. I think that's the boombox support. Now yeah, let's hit him with this. I, don't, I have no clue what it's gonna do. Okay. That took some damage, I think. Nice. I will say, this guy's got a lot of killing power. Many people are dying to me, except for that last guy. He was just living like five direct shots. Sniper real gun man does snipe and do real gun related things. Okay, let me use my ult on actually like someone I can verify hitting. Well, this guy can just kill normally. But I guess let's use the ult anyway. I, I don't see anyone, I have no clue I'm aiming. You. Didn't hit him. Well, that was a win, but... Oh, yeah, I had no clue what I was doing, to be honest with you. Like, I shot a few people from time to time, and I think I got a kill or two. Yeah, I went three kills, two deaths, two assists, but... Really felt a lot less involved than the Rocket Man, where I could really verify what I was killing, what I was doing. Let's actually, yeah, can we go to the other guy? I'm gonna test my damage out. I think that does 40 on the head, like 15 on body. And then that's like a quick fire shot. That's a little nade. And I, I don't know what the E press does, I'll be real. It's so far beyond me. Actually, I can check in this menu, right? Let's see. Uh, the E press. Teleport to a location after a short delay and creates an explosion around you. Ah! And then my ult is your next primary fire will instantly kill any enemy that you hit. Killing an enemy grants you another bullet. Interesting. So when, when I ult, it becomes one in the chamber. That's actually sick. Wait, so if I look like over here and I press E, like does that, does that teleport me? What am I going to teleport? Because that's like clearly a nade. And that's just like an alternate fire. But I want the teleport to actually work. Like I, I hit the teleport button and it's not it's not teleporting me. It's not doing it. Whatever. Part of being the alpha, I guess. We'll see how this goes. Dark map is probably not too great for us, because I mean it's it's gonna be harder to snipe. And sniping is kind of the whole gig of this railgun guy, from what I can tell. I'm kind of a, it's kind of actually sad I didn't get to play Boombox, but I'll just you know play him next time. It's fine. Yeah, let's go stay up high. It's probably your best bet. Throw like a really long distance nade, and maybe get some damage off there. Oh, this one's capture the point, but I think we're still better off just sniping and doing nothing but sniping. Because that way. I, I, that's really our, our main value. I mean, we could throw this nade from time to time. Outside of that, I, I do think we just snipe repeatedly. I'm trying to snipe the guy by the boxes on their side of the map, but it's honestly pretty impossible to. Oh, is he shooting at me? Fuck you. Head headshot idiot. What are these massive things covering my screen? Nice. You got a nice finish right there. I'm just gonna let my sword characters, like on my team, handle the capturing and all that, and I'll just be spamming them down with some nice, beautiful rail guns. Yeah, same with another nade. I do need to pressure out the guy on their side though, because he's kind of shooting Scott free as well. Oh, yeah, so this guy's on there. Trying to teleport thing, it did not teleport, man.
Oh, nice. Or is Q the teleport? I, I actually don't know. Oh god. Man, this guy's so fucking low. We almost had him. If I didn't keep missing a shot, I had him. But he got me. I was good on him. Oh yeah, see, Q is just the nade. And E's supposed to be my teleport, but whatever. I guess I can go in deep though, now that I have my ult. That one shot ability. I just have to make sure I'm actually hitting shots. Let me do test on that. Oh, see, I'm not hitting shots. That's a problem. What the hell is happening to me? Who hit me with that ability? Nice, got a kill. Oh, fuck it, let's go for it. <laughs> oh, I missed the second one. I'm dead. Farewell. I was just spamming everything out after getting the kill. That's kind of dope, though. It is like a one in the chamber thing, but it's got some charge to it. So, like, the enemy has some time to, like, maybe dodge you or whatever. Does that blow up early, or is it only... No, it seems like only once it actually hits the ground, so I could really... If you play this character a lot, you can learn some lineups. Overall though, we ain't doing too bad. Our team is in the lead. I think a lot of it, I'd say, is from our beautiful support in their backline here. For sure. That guy's living an awful lot. How is he still alive? Finally. You need to fuck right off. Holy! Holy fuck. Yeah, I'll use my ult when I respawn. And that's around the Katan during F. The more people that hit, the more the dangerous it is. I have no clue who Katan is. Bold to assume I know who that might be. That didn't hit anyone? That's unfortunate. Are they gonna go to overtime? Because they, they're down. Some of the random maid spam. That guy's so low. Okay, he did finally die. If I didn't suck, this guy'd be dead. Oh, we still won. Nice. They're saying hyper laser, you gotta get in the point, I think that's me. Let's see if I type. Ah, yeah, it was me. I don't think I had to get on the point that game, they had it covered. Let's see, overall, 4 kills, 3 deaths, 5 assists. We didn't even do too hot for just chilling it back in the corner. Either way, I hope you all enjoyed that uh, hyper laser gameplay. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.